The essence of all beautiful art, all great art, is gratitude. It says nothing against the ripeness of a spirit that it has a few worms. Many a man fails as an original thinker simply because his memory it too good. What do I care about the purring of one who cannot love, like the cat? Is man one of God's blunders? Or is God one of man's blunders? There is nothing we like to communicate to others as much as the seal of secrecy together with what lies under it. Experience, as a desire for experience, does not come off. We must not study ourselves while having an experience. A pair of powerful spectacles has sometimes sufficed to cure a person in love. Once spirit was God, then it became man, and now it is even becoming mob. Whoever feels predestined to see and not to believe will find all believers too noisy and pushy, he guards against them. We have art in order not to die of the truth. Existence really is an imperfect tense that never becomes a present. There are no facts, only interpretations. The aphorism in which I am the first master among Germans, are the forms of eternity, my ambition is to say in ten sentences what everyone else says in a book, what everyone else does not say in a book. In Christianity neither morality nor religion come into contact with reality at any point. When art dresses in worn-out material it is most easily recognized as art. In individuals, insanity is rare, but in groups, parties, nations, and epochs, it is the rule. Whoever has witnessed another's ideal becomes his inexorable judge and as it were his evil conscience. What then in the last resort are the truths of mankind? They are the irrefutable errors of mankind. Whoever despises himself nonetheless respects himself as one who despises. There are horrible people who, instead of solving a problem, tangle it up and make it harder to solve for anyone who wants to deal with it. Whoever does not know how to hit the nail on the head should be asked not to hit it at all. A woman may very well form a friendship with a man, but for this to endure, it must be assisted by a little physical antipathy. Is not life a hundred times too short for us to bore ourselves? Stupid as a man, say the women, cowardly as a woman, say the men. Stupidity in a woman is unwomanly. Idleness is the parent of psychology. In marriage, one should always reserve something to be desired. One ought to hold on to one's heart, for if one lets it go, one soon loses control of the head too. We hear only those questions for which we are in a position to find answers. 
one must still have chaos in oneself to be able to give birth to a dancing star. There are people who want to make men's lives more difficult for no other reason than the chance it provides them afterwards to offer their prescription for alleviating life. Their Christianity, for instance. When one does away with oneself one does the most estimable thing possible, one thereby almost deserves to live. A friend should be a master at guessing and keeping still, you must not want to see everything. Success has always been a great liar. The lie is a condition of life. It is the most sensual men who need to flee women and torment their bodies. Behind all their personal vanity, women themselves always have an impersonal contempt for woman. Is life not a thousand times too short for us to bore ourselves? All truly great thoughts are conceived while walking. The higher we soar, the smaller we appear to those who cannot fly.